Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker pork stew. Okay, I'm starting out here with my six quart stovetop pressure cooker, and I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil in here. Probably about two or three tablespoons. And don't mind my voice, I still have that head cold. I'm on the mend now. Now this heating up. Now I have a uh, roughly a two pound pork loin here. It's boneless. I'm going to add this in here and I'm going to brown it all up on all sides. Okay, now that my pork loin is browned, I drained off the grease and I added two cups of water in there. I'm going to add in a pack of this Goya ham flavored seasoning. I've never used that before, so I'm just going to start with one pack and see how it is. I don't want to get this super uh, strong. So I'm going to add this in the water. Okay, now I'm going to seal this up, bring this up to pressure, and I'm going to cook it for one hour. Alright, my hour's up. I'm going to manually release the pressure out of my pressure cooker. And you want to be careful when you do this because it's going to be too nice. Alright, my pressure is dropped and this is safe to open. Okay, now I'm going to take my pork loin out of there and I'm going to set it aside for just now. And you could also use like a bone in pork roast. Just make sure you get rid of the bones after it's done cooking. And it's already falling apart in the pressure cooker here. Grab a hold of that. Okay, now my pork loin's out, I'm going to add some water to this. I'm going to add, add in six cups. There goes four. There's two more. Now I'm going to start seasoning this so I get the flavor right. And I know it's probably going to need more of that ham seasoning. Let me grab a spoon over here. Okay, give this a taste. Yeah, it's going to need more of that. So I'm going to add in another pack and see how that works out. And this water's cold in here, it needs to warm up some. But I have the, the burner on, so it will warm up. Get this a taste. I have to go for another pack. Like I said, I've never used this uh, ham seasoning before, so I'm not sure how much to put in, so. Taste as we go. Okay, that tastes good right there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon. And I'm gonna take this slow because that ham base has uh, salt in it. I don't want to get too salty. A little more salt. Okay, that should do it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of pepper to this. About a half a teaspoon. Alright, now I have six medium potatoes here that I cut up. I'm going to add those in. And I have three stalks of celery and one large onion I diced up. I'm going to add those in. And you want to watch not to overfill your pressure cooker. I don't know if you can see this. My full line is right here, so I have a ways to go. All right, while my stew's warming up over there, I'm going to go ahead and shred this pork up. Then I'm just using uh, two forks on it. Okay, now that I have all my pork shredded up, I'm going to add it back into the pot. And I'm going to seal this up, bring up the pressure, and give it six minutes high pressure to cook those vegetables. Give this a stir. Alright, this is done. I know I said I was going to let it pressure cook for six minutes, but I decided to let it go for four. I don't want it to, uh, the vegetables to get cooked to death. Now I have flour water slurry here that I pre-sifted to get the lumps out and I'm going to add this in here. 
Now, over a medium medium heat, I can't say medium flame because it's an electric stove, but over medium heat, I'm going to cook this till uh, that flour water thickens it up. Let me throw that in there. And I also have a 12 ounce bag of frozen peas and carrots. I'm going to add some of them in, probably not all of them, about 8 ounces. Okay, and I'm going to bring this back up to a gentle boil and let it cook till everything thickens up and those uh, peas and carrots cook through. And that should take about eight minutes or so after it comes up to a boil. All right, this is done. It went for six minutes. It's thickened up and the peas and carrots are cooked through. So let's go ahead and dish this up and see what we got. Okay, I'd like to give a shout out to my son's friend, Wyatt Brocious, AKA Big Daddy Brocious. So there you have it. Pressure cooker pork stew. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.